All right then, gang. So this is unfortunately the end of the Firebase authentication journey with me. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it and hope that you've learned something along the way and it's not been an epic waste of your time. So anyway, in this course, we've learned quite a lot, but it's all been about authentication with username or rather email address and password. So in Firebase, we can log in using all of these different types of authentication as well. We've not even touched those. So if you want to learn about those, I would advise you to check out the documentation. They are quite simple to implement once you know the basics of authentication, which you now hopefully do. But also, if you do want me to cover these in the future, make sure you let me know down below in the comments. And if enough people want me to, then I will take a look at some of these in the future as well. So... If you also want to learn more about the Firestore real-time database, which we've used in this series, I do have a whole series on that, so you can go and check that out and learn more about it if you want to. Also, if you want to see how to use Firebase with another technology like Vue.js, I do have a complete Udemy course on that, where we build three web apps with Vue.js and Firebase, and that implements the Firestore, Cloud Functions, and some authentication as well. So I'll leave the link to this down below. It has a coupon auto apply so you can get it for the discounted price of $9.99. So there we go, my friends. Again, I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you do like the videos, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'm going to see you in the very next series.